What's up, gym owners? I'm Ed Turning, this is Kel Owen. Uh, we want to talk about the thing that frustrates me because it is so simple. It is the mm. one onboarding mistake that's costing you lots and lots and lots of money. But more importantly, it is um, getting your clients worse results because you're not onboarding them correctly. Here, here's the problem, right? You sign somebody up on a Tuesday and you say, great, you can start whenever you want. <laughs> And then they come maybe that day, maybe the next yeah. day, whatever, maybe they wait till Monday. And your six week program, 12 week program, it's very messy, it's very hard to organize people. Second problem is you're not setting up for a second sale with them because you're just like, you're letting them choose their onboarding. And they signed up to have a coach to tell them what to do. So people get a little weird when I say it this way, but people are paying you money, so you tell them what to do. Do these workouts, eat these foods, right? But it starts from the beginning. So if you don't have a choreographed onboarding process from the moment that they sign up, you're really doing a disservice to them to get their results because you're just not developing a good relationship from the beginning and you're also losing a lot of money thousands of dollars because you're not yeah thousands a month because you're not setting them up for the for the second uh, appointment so what i did at my gyms what kale did at his gyms what all of our best clients do is, is very simple it's so simple you're gonna be like this is the tip yes this is the tip monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday sell memberships immediately at the end of that sale you go great susie the next step is this. By the way, all meetings should end with the next step is this. We're gonna do our free mandatory nutrition meeting. Keywords, free mandatory nutrition meeting on Saturday. Do you want this time or this time? And then you book them to a 30 minute onboarding where we have a nutrition onboard and a nutrition sale. Let's talk about the nutrition sale real quick. So yeah. that's a supplement sale. So this is why this is really important. There's two reasons really. So for those of you that are in a position where maybe you're a one man, one woman show and you're trying to figure out how do I schedule all of this together? Yeah. This capitalizes and maximizes the amount of time that you have. So you sell, 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 and you're focusing on one thing. And then Saturdays, maybe you sell a little bit in the morning and then everything else is just straight onboarding and fulfillment. The other side behind it is you should be selling products during your nutrition consultation. If you are not, you are literally missing out on thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars mm -hmm. because you're not offering a solution that your clients will go somewhere else to get. And that should come from you because you're the one that's administering the training, you're administering the nutrition, you're the one that's closest to them and you understand their goals and where they're trying to go to. And so why should they go to Joe at GNC and grab subs from them? They should be purchasing it from you. And mm -hmm. if you want to learn how to do that, this yeah. is the guy right here. Now, clearly we're biased because we have Prestige Labs and that's ours. Right? Obviously. So, so like, you don't have to but sell Prestige. I don't care. But you have to sell products. Yes. You have to sell them the things that they're going to buy anyway. I mean, it could be whatever you want. It could just be protein, it could be apparel, like, mm -hmm. but there has to be a product sale in onboarding because the additional uh, purchase of the things, of the actual physical things, makes them more committed to the process, more committed to the journey. Because they just bought air from you. Yes. They just, they bought an imaginary thing that they can't actually tangibly hold. Mm -hmm. So they'll be a better client if they have this stuff. Yes. So real fast as a thought experiment, if you're watching this, please think about the two, three, four, five best clients, favorite clients that you like the most. Now ask the question, right? You got them in your head. Do they wear the t-shirts all the time? Do they buy the hats when they come out? Do they wear their wristbands and get the bumper stickers? Do they buy the everything? Yes, because people need to buy all the things to shift their identity mm -hmm. to be a fitness person. They need the new gear, they need the new yoga pants, they need the supplements, right? So back to choreography. Sell Monday through Friday. Saturday morning, you have all the new signups. Let's just say you sign one person a day, that's it. You now have five nutrition meetings where you sit down, you over deliver, you get them the meal plans, you customize their plan, you hook them up. We have all that stuff done for you, by the way. You walk them through it, and then you assume close them on the products that are gonna get them their goals that they told you, because you already know what their goals are. And then they start workouts Monday. Very, 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 very important. I wanna really emphasize this. Sell, meet with everybody on Saturday sell them again the products that are gonna buy someplace else anyway. And then Monday they start. So that every Monday, there's a new group of clients starting. You can manage this, you can track this, you won't get burnt out, you won't get confused. It's like this group starts Monday. And if you always have that you know, cycle of people starting every single Monday, it's very clear to then do follow-up meetings, upgrade dissensions, all that stuff. But if you're just doing like one meeting here, one meeting there, it's you're all over the place. Hyper focus on one thing one day, hyper focus on something else the next day. Don't bounce back and forth between different kinds of meetings all the time. And I gotta add one thing to this, and this is the sales aspect of it, is why this is so important to have a separate meeting to sell products is because you never want to have two sales in one. And the reason for it is if you're selling a service-based membership, you want them focused on the service-based membership. You mm -hmm. do not want to muddy the waters by adding in extra products and all these other things. So if you're sitting there and you're a gym owner, like, well, why can't 
can't I just onboard them right after? So I sell them and maybe I don't have an appointment after. Why can't I just onboard them? Because you want to create a process that is repeatable and scalable and you never want to have back to back sales with the same person. You don't want to sell them a service and then a product right after. You want to have time in between because what we found by you doing this with literally thousands of gyms mm -hmm. is that it will increase double, triple your close rate when you spread out the time between sales. And so on a Tuesday, you sell Susie into a service membership. At the end, you're like, great. So our onboarding is Saturday. Which time do you want? We have an 11 o'clock, we have a noon and a 1.30. Which section would you want? Which time? Great. She's like, I want to come at 11. Perfect. You confirm, you follow up text, you're lead nurture, you're nurturing them to the appointment. You're mm -hmm. following up with them the entire process. Saturday morning, you're sending Susie a text. I can't wait to see you at 11. So excited to get you started. She walks in, you go through the process. And then during that process, you make another sale. And so now you're capitalizing on that. That's why it's super important as well. So it's not just from a time management and organizational piece, mm -hmm. but it's also very important from a sales to capitalize revenue per client. Right. Very important. You meet with them, you sell them the service, you immediately book an appointment, you sell them products, they start Monday. That is something that you can scale and replicate, like Kale said, and your team can do it. If you don't want to do nutrition meetings, that's okay. It's very simple to have someone else do it. Yep. So like our Lion's Den crew, most of those guys don't do their own sales. They have mm -hmm. their team do it, and they close above 70% every single Saturday on products. So imagine if you added 100 to $200 per every sign up, regardless of what the membership they bought was, they all get funneled to the same thing. So manage your time, make more money, get the clients more committed, and help more people. That's it. See you guys later, bye.